Oh my gosh, she even has a cute little kitchen built! Ah. Oh. Hello everyone! This is Siri and we are outside of Mara's beautiful little home, totally not creeping, totally not peering into her windows while she's gone. Uh, cough cough. But mostly we are here, we dropped off some wonderful gifts for Mara and now we are getting ready to go exploring! So we are going to go try to find some absolutely adorable deer so we can add some more female and fawns to our red, or our red tail deer, what the heck, our white tail deer exhibit and also collect more temporary wildflowers and hopefully some fish and other interesting things and release a wild panther that needs a new home while we are around Mara's place. It just was the perfect time to do a little exploring while we also needed to drop off some of her presents. So I'm very excited and Iris was a little bit hesitant to come out here, just her and me. She was sad Lily decided to be silly, sit and stay when she wasn't supposed to. So Lily is all the way back home and home is kind of a bit of a distance away. Let's see home 2,273 meters away so home is a little bit of a distance away but we're gonna do a little bit of walking come on iris and we won't peek around mara's place too much i don't want to be rude but i did want to leave her her presents because she hadn't uh from from the chest and i didn't want her to lose them especially because there's a red rose chicken in some of them Ah, oh, look at these, these creek canyons. Oh, let's try to get some distance. Oh, and it's a little mouse. Hi, cutie. Let's try to get some distance away from her home, though, because I don't want to, like, raid her front yard for plants. But we did need a new place to drop off. Oh, that's not a polar bear, is it? Oh, fudge. Iris, let's move. Come on, sweetie. Uh, let's go this way instead. My ears were right. It was definitely a polar bear, so... Let's see, it looks like she's mapped out most of this area. So let's go ahead and cross the lake. Look at this beautiful flower. I kind of want it. A Jacob's Ladder. I'm sorry, Mara. Okay, let's get further away before we take anything else. Because that'd be, I, I mean, I love sharing plants, but you know, it's just, it's just a little tricky sometimes. Ooh, that looks cool. That looks like someplace Mara would enjoy. She loves mining. She's really good at it too. She's always finding like the rare stuff. Wow, Iris, look at all this. You think the panther would like it here? Let's hop up. Okay, there's a big old rat. Oh, I think he might like it if there's big large rats to eat. Wow, there's floating islands and I just heard, ow, you jerk. Iris, you aren't, ouch. Okay, hang on, Iris. Keep away, skeleton. All right. In fact, I think the panther would fit right in here, so we're going to leave it here. There you go, buddy. Ooh, and there's a beautiful horse. So what we're looking for are actually deer. So let's poke around this area and see what we can find. <gasps> Look at those lupines. Oh, I want to collect those. Oh, and these guys too. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Oh, and there's so many mice in this area. That's unusual and really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to gather these flowers up. Come here, come here, pretty flowers. Ooh, there's some azaleas of nice colors. Aha! And let's keep moving on into that area because I think we're more likely to find deer where it's not so snowy. All right, come on, Iris. How you doing? You're a good girl. You want to go on the ice? Whee! All right. Wow, look at the, the way that bamboo's growing like a little, um... Oh, hey, there's an arctic fox. We actually do need some arctic fox uh, to put into our shrine. Pardon me, arctic fox. Would you care to join us so that you could be a shrine fox? Oh, wow. That's a very knowing gaze. Did you know I was going to come here? Was this meant to be? Don't attack my dog. Okay. I think that was an affirmative. So I think we have our first shrine fox. That would be kind of amazing. <laughs> All right. And I need to get my bed out real quick. All right. Don't worry, Iris. We're going to take a snooze and then we're going to go ahead and explore and look for more white-tailed deer. Oh, I love exploring. All right, there's a mole. <gasps> I heard one! Did you guys hear one? I heard the call of the white-tailed deer, Iris. Oh, and these are ferns. Oh, I have a deep weakness for ferns. Oh, maidenhair spleenwort, you're so beautiful. Oh, look at the little mole. We can see him digging. Look at the digging. And you know, moles can be quite the pest in certain areas, but they can also really provide a lot of the aeration that is needed for the soil. 
And they do eat uh, other other pests, but I do hear... Look at all the rubber trees, jeez. Iris, oh, Iris, are you okay? Iris, look, oh, good girl. She's like, I found them, I found them, Miss Siri. Oh, and this is wonderful, Iris. These are indeed two deer. They appear to be two males who are kind of poking each other for territory. Now, white-tailed deer will travel uh, sometimes in what's called bachelor groups, where you'll have one old male and a whole bunch of yearling uh, males who will kind of stick with them. Is this poisonous? It's dead nettle. I think it's poisonous. Don't step on it, sweetie. Let me clean it up. There we go. Ooh, a beehive. We have plenty of bees though, so I'm not gonna not gonna harvest that. Oh, and it's a beautiful cardinal. Maybe we should catch her and put her in our temperate forest aviary. If I can get close enough to her. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, she evaded me. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yay! We caught a cardinal! Wow, this is going really well, Iris. And look at this grove! <gasps> and there's moss on everything! Holy moly, this is so pretty. Where are we? It's just a normal forest, but oh my gosh, and there's dandelion flowers. Wow, and there's moss growing and chickens and sunflowers and like berry bushes with berries on them. You have to harvest these berry bushes that have berries on them with shears or else um, you break them and the berries never grow back, I don't think. Uh, where's my shears? Here's my shears. I must have accidentally... Oh, there they are. <laughs> I'm like digging, 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 looking for shears. Hang on a second, Iris. I'm going to gather up a few of these berry bushes. Okay, you gathered them up for me. Oh, I think I think that actually they're being harvested. No, that's not what I wanted. All right, we need to do an experiment, Iris. If we replant the bush and... Oh, good job, Iris. I was going to say, and then put... Um, what was that? And then put bone meal on it. I want to see what happens. But um, I guess doggy fertilizer would work too. And it appears I don't have any bones. I should have taken out that skeleton last night. Ah, well. I hear the bird. I just don't see the bird. Oh, what's over here, Iris? You lead me this way, honey? Wow. Look at those beautiful flowers. Those beautiful purple flowers. And the chicken's taking a bird bath over here. Oh, it's lavender. It's another type of lavender. That's so exciting. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to gather this up. Move this up. There we go. All right, put those away. We need to clean up our inventory a little bit too before things start getting majorly chaotic. Um, put you away. The dead nettle. I guess it isn't. Doesn't hurt to step on. All right, Iris, don't panic. Okay, dead nettle doesn't hurt to step on. That makes me feel better. Bevel. Bevel? <laughs> that makes me feel better. And we did indeed find a couple deer. Just they were not the type we're looking for, so I'll have to keep our eyes peeled. We now have a canary, and we have a fox that we can add to the shrine. I just really felt like that was one of the foxes, because, you know, there's a lot of white foxes out there. But we're looking specifically for ones that will be able to uphold, like, the severity of keeping the curse of, uh, of the ghost at bay in our bamboo forest. That's a pretty big deal. I hear sheep, sheep. Wow, look at the redwood forest. I see beautiful sunflowers everywhere. These are not very common sunflowers either. So I'm going to go ahead and gather a few of them as well. You can't grow these ones, um, like, by, by getting seeds the way you can for other ones. Oh, here's more deer. Oh, and it's a mom and a fawn. Exactly what we're looking for. This is wonderful. Now we have a couple more deer to add to our white tail deer exhibit. Oh, this is so good because, like, you guys got so excited about the deer, and I realized I just didn't have that many deer, so we needed to do something about it. I wonder if we find, a, like, a big ocean, I'm going to release some of the sharks because <laughs> we have a lot of sharks. All right, put those in here. Let's keep exploring, Iris. I really want more of these pitcher plants. They actually make really nice, really nice plants for the temperate forest area. Ooh. There's a hydrangea and some twigs. Twigs are very important to put in so our animals can use them to build. Um, same with the, the leaves. They're actually really important to add these in so our animals are able to use them. There we go. For building material, for enrichment material, for all of those things. Look at all the dandelions. Let's make a wish, Iris. All right, I'm going to get this. And come here, little dandelion puff. 
And let's climb up here. Wow, look at this view. No wonder Mara wanted to settle here. This is beautiful. All right. I wish that the zoo will really, really thrive. That was a pretty good wish. Hey, Iris. Oh, hey, chicken. <laughs> like all the animals are staring at me so seriously as I talk about the zoo. Oh, there's another deer. <gasps> no way. And she's in front of like this big ca cavern. Ma'am, I have a much nicer place for you to live. Oh my gosh, we're finding so many deer. This is so exciting. <gasps> and there's a raccoon. I forgot we needed to recatch Martha. Come here, Martha. <sighs> For um, for our Monica, researcher Monica, her raccoon Martha skedaddled, but I, I think we um, cough cough caught Martha just then. You know what I mean? So we'll take this one to her. Wow, we've really covered a lot. Ooh, Ooh there's some moss everywhere. In fact, this moss, I, oh my gosh, it's so pretty when it's bright and beautiful like that. I almost don't want to touch it right now because it's just, I'm taking it all in. Oh, do you see something, Iris? Oh, a black sheep. Not very common in the wild. At least in our world. So beautiful. There's a big old chasm here. Ooh, look at all these. Let's take some of these fossils. Mara doesn't do dinosaurs, but we definitely are going to be working even more on dinosaurs than we have before. Thank you for picking the fossils up for me, Iris. I was like, where did it go? And Iris picked them up. We're going to have to give the dogs regular baths so I can empty their inventory. Because it does get a little confusing when you go to try to find things. And you're like, what happened to it? And the pup-pups had picked them up. All right, so let's go ahead and get the roots. Actually, I haven't collected roots for a long time. And they actually are really useful um, for exhibits again. All right. Ooh, and it just leads to the other side. Isn't that cute? Do I have any torches I could put down? Just to kind of... Oh, my gosh, it's a duck. Mr. Duck, if I had some extra safari nuts. I love this. I love just being back in the wild, Iris. Oh, I've been so good and so dutiful building in the zoo, but I forgot just how much I crave going on adventures like this. All right. Oh, and there's moss everywhere. I'm being so good passing most of it up right now. All right, and then let's go ahead and we'll put away a whole bunch of these. So we've got more room. I want the fishing net out, though. So now we have a raccoon and three deer and an orc. We've got to, that's probably what we have to do as our responsible activity tomorrow is empty our safari nets. In fact, let's climb up and make a little journal entry. I'm trying to be dutiful with our journal entries because we have years and years of zoo crafting left in us. And one day we'll want to look back on these, these journal entries. Hello, little snake. And be able to reflect on what we saw and what we did. So, let's see. All right, here we go. Um... Dear Adventure Day. Set off into the forest and meadows around Mara's new home uh, with Iris. Lily was supposed to come too, but she was a silly pup and sat when she should have followed and I didn't notice in time. Silly girl, we have found such beautiful, amazing forest. We need to bring our friends here for a picnic one day. Iris, whoa, mole, you startled me. A mole just crawled. Ah, a mole just crawled over my shoulder. That was unexpected, but awesome. I love this world. We are collecting, uh, collecting is a strong word. We are um, looking for white tail female and fawns in order to bring back to our white tail deer exhibit. Bambi is the only male we will keep in the area, but there is plenty of room for more females and fawns. So far we have found three, as well as a white fox, white fox who can serve as a temple fox. Uh, what else did we find? Martha, the escaped uh, raccoon of um, nether researcher Monica. And then we caught something else, didn't we? And so many amazing plants. Night is falling to the tune of cows and goats. 
Co coats, cows, and goats. Time for a snooze. And then more exploring. There we go. I know it seems silly, but one day we will look back on these and be glad that we recorded them. I feel that way about my real journals. I feel that way about these journals, which technically are real. Oh yeah, and then I was supposed to chide myself and be like, and don't forget to clean up after your safari nuts. But we'll do that in just a second. Oh, tell me that's not a werewolf. Hey, Iris. Hey, sweetie. Uh, oh dear. Iris. Okay, I'll get that from you in a little bit. For now, would you like some raw chicken for breakfast? Yeah. There's some perks to being the only pup, huh? Tell you what, Iris. You have been so good, so when we get back from this little adventure, I will definitely make sure to make you some more dog treats. And that mole and you, those two, like, they've been pushing each other around. It's kind of hilarious. Also, let's get this moss. Oh, I love this Wolf's Foot Club moss. I should put lots of it inside my, um, my area, too. Ooh, and let's get some of this. And actually, this sparkle sparkle stuff is hard to find. Like, the pretty, pretty sparkle sparkle, uh, ground cover. Come here. Throw it. Sparkle sparkle ground cover. Oh, phew. Yeah, this flower ground cover. Iris, you are definitely picking up a lot, my love. I bet Kaffers would be so proud. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Ooh, what are these? These aren't familiar. Red Hellborn. Let's gather up these specimens for further analysis and research. There we go. And, oh, there's another deer. All right, you guys. Is it a buck or is it a female? I think it's a buck. Maybe he's scratching his antlers on the bark of this tree. And that's actually something that deer really do do in order to get the velvet and the felt off of their, um, off of their itchy part. Or I don't think they're itchy, but basically to get the velvet off of their antlers. So every now and then it can be really scary because you'll see like the deer with bloody antlers and there's like dangly flesh things. But don't worry, that actually is just them getting the felt off. And apparently they can't really feel that too much. So let's see, moment of truth. Do we have some antlers? We do! Hello, sir! I won't take you from your territory. I I'm afraid we already have a male deer. But there you go, now you're not stuck in that tree anymore. Very nice to meet you. Oh, look at him. Whoa! How'd those leaves just like... I took a picture of him and the leaves just magically pop back in place and he's magically standing halfway in a tree. Um, why don't we move him out of there? Oh my gosh, I think that that tree is like growing around him or something horrific like that. Hang on, it's like a, a demon tree. Let me free you, sir. There you go. There, you should be safe over there. All right, where's Iris? Iris! She's tree hopping. Parkour is just like your mom, huh? That is something Kaffers loves to do as well. Okay, I can't pass up the ivy. I was like, oh, I don't need the ivy. Well, guess what? I can't pass it up. Iris, you picking that up for me? Thank you. All right. What else do we have over here? We've got enough room for two more deer or other various uh, various friends. Here's another raccoon. I guess we don't really have a temperate forest raccoon exhibit yet, but we don't really have anywhere to put one yet. So I hesitate, Iris. It's irresponsible to leave as many animals in safari nets as I do. Uh, what? That's not life, being frozen in stasis in a tiny little ball. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a cool mine shaft over here. The chickens seem very at ease with uh, being cliff chickens in this area as well. <gasps> columbines! All right, Iris, we got to go to the other side and get those columbines. And we'll see where fate takes us from there. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <clears throat> Cut our way through. Wow! This is proving to be a little tricky, Iris, but I know you can do it. That's right. Good girl. Woof indeed. Look at her! Oh, she did it! I'm so proud of her. Okay, oh my gosh. <laughs> and I nearly walk off the edge of that. That's terrifying. There's moss growing everywhere. It's absolutely beautiful. Columbines, where are you? Okay, past this tree. Let's take this route so it's a little less likely that we'll just like barrel off to our death. And here we go. <gasps> More of these pretty pretties. Come here. Ah, uh, pretty pretties. Hey, Iris! Is this the wild carrot? Well, I'm gonna have to find out when I bathe you, because you picked it up. And the columbines. These are some of my favorite flowers. I really love these. I'm gonna tell, have to tell Mara. She lives in, like, one of the most beautiful places we've ever been to. Alright, let's gather these up. There's a duck. We have a lot of ducks for now. Alright, Iris, let's go this way. 
we have two more slots for bringing back some uh, new animals. And I would love to bring back more deer. Wow, this chasm. Oh, look, you can see a zombie right there. That's adorable. Isn't that adorable, Iris? Oh my gosh, and look at that. Man, this is so beautiful. I love going on foot, because we've probably flown over this area on Sunflower a few times. And we just don't notice, like, all the intricate beauty. Like this stuff. Because we're not, we're not on the ground. Alright, anything over here that really calls out to me? <gasps> like these flowers? These are the bells of Ireland, if I remember correctly. Oh, they're just the blue bells. Never mind. How embarrassing. <gasps> Some of the Panamas! Oh, I love these Panamas. Oh my gosh, I have such a weakness for them. Come here, guys. No! Get away, dirt! I need to pick up the Panamas instead. Alright, so we've got some of the Paminas. Paminas, even. There's a cute little mouse. Another cute little mouse. Um, let's gather this up. There's a black bear, but we're okay on black bears right now, since Yogi has been relocated. And here's two more raccoons. I'm wondering if this is a sign that we should work on raccoon exhibits, but we're really busy with our current exhibits. I don't want to overdose myself, as I usually do on making tons and tons of exhibits. So, ooh, more columbines! Columbines, columbines, beautiful columbines. All right, let's do a little bit more exploring, Iris. Just a couple seconds. Oh, geez, and then we have to walk back, don't we? Ah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Then we have to walk back home. Hello, duck, duck. Or actually, is the, is the archaeologist, paleontologist village closer? Oh, that's not so bad. Yeah, we'll start walking towards the paleontologist village. And we will just... Uh -huh. I knew if I held out, we would find more deer. Alright. And here's another female. Does she have a fawn nearby? No. So we can go ahead. Come with me, ma'am. I promise I will take you to a wonderful new home. <gasps> more columbines! Oh my gosh, so many columbines. So cute. So beautiful. Oh, I can put them everywhere. We can have like a little temperate forest pavilion area. Wow, lots of black sheep and a baby goat. Um, yeah. What's down here? Oh, there's quite a few fossils down here. I guess I'll pick these up real fast. Do, do, do. Iris, you doing okay? Iris? Uh-oh. Oh, good. I heard a wolf. Okay, she's all right. There she is. Who's a good girl? I'm watching you right now, so I need to make sure that you're like totally safe. Your, your well-being is my responsibility. More columbines! Columbines, columbines, columbines. Beautiful columbines. I've used up all the other columbines decorating around my house, so it's really nice to have, have some new ones. Alright, Iris, you ready? Oh, that was a snake, huh? Let's not walk on the snake. Let's get the safari net out, just in case I accidentally... Oh, that's a cobra. Let's go this way. Mm -hmm. We don't want to mess with an angry cobra. Ooh, pretty. This world is glorious, and we are here adventuring within its boundaries as fantastic biologists in order to collect what we can so we can educate people about the glory of the natural world. Uh, and I know we've spoken of it before, but you guys remember, white-tailed deer are herbivores for the most part. They will occasionally eat mice and birds if they get the opportunity, um, which a lot of people are stunned by. No white-tailed deer in here. They usually... Oh, I think we've been here? Memories are bumping around in my mind. Now that i found this penguin. Let's get the penguin, Iris. Let's get the penguin! He's all by his lonesome, and I want to start putting a bunch of penguins like this. The Humboldt penguin! I want to start putting a bunch of these, like land-based penguins around where we used to have the pleosaurs. Yes! Victory! Alright, that's wonderful. So now we really do just need to work our way back home. Work our way back home. Um, oh, that's not alarming whatsoever, the fact that there's a giant cliff that we'd have to scale. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, well, alright. 
I'm going to get Iris, and we're going to just keep walking. You can actually see the glacier that's on the other side of Paleontologist Village. I will get us home safe and sound as soon... There you are, Iris. Jeez, don't do that to me. Uh, I will get us home safe and sound, and then we will start sorting all of our things, putting the deer in, naming the deer, and resuming our task of taking care of Dr. Nami's area. My goodness, that's a noisy bird. All right, Iris, you ready? All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.